I know what you're thinking. Mining to be replaced? Mining is obsolete? What on God's green earth is the crypto lifestyle talking about? Well, if you want to find out more, stay tuned. Hey, I got a question for you. I'm on the daily grind. I'm taking care of work. I'm getting paid today. I'm doing things to make it better. Is your money working for you? Or are you working for money? Yes! Uh, it's your boy, the Crypto Lifestyle. The lifestyle where your money works for you instead of you working for money. Now guys, before I go on with the content, I have to thank each and every one of you who takes the time out of their day just to look at my videos. Everybody who's been watching, commenting, liking, and emailing me, all the positive feedback, guys. Look, I put a lot of time and effort into my videos, and by you, know, by you guys sending me this positive feedback, it's just confirming that all the hard work that I put in, it's all worthwhile, okay? So thank you so much. Also, guys, before I move forward, I really would appreciate it if you could smash that like button. By you doing this, it tells YouTube that you did like my videos and other people looking for similar content, it would make it easier for them to come across my video. So please smash that like button. Last but not least, the boring part, my disclaimer, guys, I am not a financial advisor. I am not a professional. This is me simply doing my own personal research and my own personal opinions, and I'm sharing my journey with the world, okay, guys? That's that. Now, moving forward to the content why is mining going to be obsolete or replaced guys okay let's just start off with this there's something called dpos delegated delegated proof of stake or delegated proof of authority is another term as well and this is the model and the system that will be replacing the current system that we have today which is mining now guys one thing we need to understand is as a civilization we are all we're always advancing whether that's technologically or whether that's economically or what have you right so mining right Right now, as much as you like it or not, you know, cryptocurrency is a decentralized space, yes, but the centralized of, of figures are the miners. They are the middlemen. They charge us a fee to process transactions. So at the end of the day, the centralized authorities are the miners. So now, how could delegated proof of stake fix this? First and foremost, this, this system was first invented by Dan Larmer. So let's give him an applause right now, guys. Okay. He is the um, the inventor of BitShares. He also invented EOS and Steemit, okay? The social media for blockchain. Uh, it's very popular. I'm sure everybody knows it about it out there. So guys, let's go in a little bit more detail on how a delegated proof of stake would work. So here we go. A robust and flexible consensus protocol. Delegated proof of stake, or known as DPoS, is the fastest, most efficient, most decentralized, and most flexible consensus model available. But DPoS leverages the power of stakeholder approval voting to resolve consensus issues in a fair and democratic way. All network parameters from fee schedules to block intervals and transaction sizes can be tuned via elected delegates. Deterministic selection of block producers allows transactions to be confirmed in an average of just one second. Perhaps most importantly, a consensus protocol is designed to protect all participants against unwanted regulatory interface. Uh, sorry, interference. Okay, guys, so the users, okay, the people who has whatever that cryptocurrency is, right, whether it's BitShares, whether it's, um, you know, we're going to go into more detail how Icon's using the system, how Credits is using the system, Yggdrash is using the system, okay? So we're noticing more of the newer coins that are coming out are leaving behind the old systematic ways, which is mining and transitioning into DPoS, okay, guys, delegated proof of stake, okay? So... The first person to come about this, um, to introduce this, the first person to introduce this was Dan Larmer, okay? So a lot of respect out to him, and we're seeing a lot of these new coins um, adopting this system, okay? So there is the first one, guys. Let's move on to Yggdrash. So here we go with Yggdrash. I did a review on Yggdrash, guys, and as I just mentioned, a lot of these new coins or these new ICOs that are coming out are leaving mining behind and moving on with this new system. So let's read their description of what their DPOA stands for. A little bit different than the DPOS. 
So Yggdrash will develop a delegated proof of authority, a self-consensus algorithm to ensure faster performance than any other consensus algorithm by selecting the node with the highest reputation score as a representative as a representative through the reputation evalu evaluation chain. So anybody who holds these coins or these tokens, okay, that's using the system, um, you guys will have the ability to become one of these delegated proof of authorities, okay, and it will be done via voting or electing, okay, so it's very similar to a democratic system. Um, you might have a question on the delegated representative. The node is verified through a high reputation score from the reputation evaluation chain through its activity to benefit on and to contribute to the blockchain network. Since Yggdrash is a multi-dimensional structure separating the stem chain from the currency chain, any direct financial in incentive is not awarded to the representative. The block validation is Yggdrash, creates blocks according to the, a specific algorithm round robin method or time series method and block creation takes 10 seconds in addition each representative nodes um, is free from a single point of failure by delegating a representative authority to its sub node under the authority delegation policy in Yggdrash. so guys it's really going to the point where as i said the miners don't have the centralized um, authority they're not going to be paid we're eliminating the middleman all over again Okay, guys, so this is pretty cool. I'm all about it. Um, I'm just trying to show you guys what the newer generation of blockchains are using, and that's not mining. That is delegated proof of stake or delegated proof of authority, guys. So there you have it. BitShares first pretty much invented this system. Yggdrash, a new blockchain that's coming out, they're going to be implementing similar systems or um, similar model. So there you go. Now let's move on to actual, where is it, credits. Okay, credits is another new blockchain coming out and I'm very, very hyped about this. You guys know I'm pretty bullish on credits. I'm excited at the same time. But let's look and see how these guys are going about their transactions. So consensus building. The system uses a federative model to build a consensus. Voting of trusted validator nodes and also the consensus building alg algorithm. An algorithm for a passage of a finite state automation. Consensus works by cycles and it goes on and on and on and I highly recommend I would leave the links at the bottom You guys try to educate yourself on what delegated proof of stake is what consensus building is What is this delegated proof of authority guys because we're going to be hearing about this more and more and more as new blockchain Infrastructure coins come out. So, you know, it's good to familiarize yourself with this because in my opinion This is the future of the this is mining 3.0. Okay, guys or block development 3.0, however you want to look at it, okay? Now, last but not least, I want to take a look at Icon, guys. So, if we go to Icon's white paper, and you guys know me, I love me some kimchi, I love me some South Korean barbecue, meaning that's my way of saying Icon was my first 100x coin, and I would always just have them at my heart. But anyways, let's just go on with this. So, here we go. Consensus. Bitcoin, the first service to implement blockchain, has achieved the consensus of all Bitcoin nodes transaction ledger in a network of global scale using algorithm of proof of work. However, Bitcoin's proof of work algorithm had several shortfalls that limited its use environments requiring efficiency and speed. The algorithm was extremely slow, inefficient, and its use of energy and underwent partial network forks, which is very, very true. So to resolve this type of problem, we started to use BFT, okay? Series of consensus algorithm mainly used for a traditional state machine replication for data consensus, guys, okay? So the BFT series consensus algorithms, famous for P. BFT um, makes consensus by voting for validation of data and sharing the results. Okay, guys. So this is pretty much here. They're going to say right here. So DPOS, delegated proof of stake. So guys, even Icon 
okay these new blockchains this is what they're going to so i just wanted to share this with you guys we got igdresh we got credits we got icon and obviously bitchers the first one to implement this where is it right here they all are moving away from mining you know we're getting a little bit more decentralized by cutting out the middlemen which are the miners i hope this gave you guys some sort of enlightenment some sort of knowledge and new information so you could go about doing your own research because you have to do your own due diligence guys okay and i love sharing information that i come across and this is no different it's your boy the crypto lifestyle the lifestyle where your money works for you instead of you work for money and you know what guys i mean there ain't really much left for me to see other than until the next video you're on your own later